Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Marta Pickard, formerly of Fun and Third. I am the entrepreneur, and today I am going to show you some things that I was able to purchase without having to pay any money up front. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about quite a few things, but first I want to show you some things that I want to show you just a mini haul. Today we are working with Magnus today in camp, and so I needed a few things in order to work with my kiddos today, so I want to show you what I Okay, so everybody knows that I love Lakeshore Learning. If you look around my center, if you kind of just take a gander around my center, everything for the most part in my center came from Lakeshore Learning. And so, um, for the most part, uh, there are some things that didn't, you know, but majority of the, the items for the students, came, it came from Lakeshore. And a lot of my organizing containers as well. So, I wanna show you some things that I have purchased. Now, this box came from Amazon, so I, I had to kind of make sure that the, everything was in the box, so. I didn't open it all the way, but I'm going to open it completely now. So today is magnet day. Now, I will say that, so I purchased these magnet towels. Now I will say that I saw these at Lakeshore when I went in there yesterday, but I'm gonna try these. But if I don't like them today, I will be sending these back and if I, if I feel that they're not a good quality, I'm going to send these back and go get the ones that I've seen in Lakeshore because they are on sale this week. They're normally like maybe 150 bucks. They are on sale for, I believe, one $100. And so it's like $50 off. So these are what we're going to be doing. My students, oh, this is heavy. We're going to, the campers are going to be building um, with the towels today. I'm going to challenge them to build a few things. And then also tomorrow is slime day. We're having a slime party. And so I ordered this kit, this slime kit. Uh, this came from Amazon. So both of these items came from Amazon. Both of them are really heavy too. And then let me show you what I got from Lakeshore. And so this is another magnet kit. This came from Lakeshore. I'm just gonna put this in the center of the table because we're gonna be working with that as soon as they get here. And I also bought this STEM challenges box. And what they do is you, it's like a grab and go activity. You pull a card out the box and then like, for example, it'll tell you um, build a, use only tape and paper to build a structure that will hold a heavy book. And it must be able to stand on its own. So that's a challenge, you know, so um, I feel like this will be good for like if we run out of things to do, this will be a great time filler. So I got these. So I was able to get all of these and I also did some laminating while I was at Lakeshore. My private school is a Bible based private school. And so I bought posters that's going to go up against the wall. I've been holding those two spots for my Bible posters. And so I'm getting ready to cut those out and hang those up. But I was able to purchase all of those items without having to pay any money up front. And here's how, with business credit. So um, it's super, super important when you are establishing a business for yourself to get business credit. Business credit has really helped me to um, flow through my summer camp, the camp that I hosted with ease, because I had um, 30 days to pay for an item. So the, all of the items that you see, I did not have to pay any money for them up front. I used business credit and business credit is totally separate from personal credit. 
And so here is how you get business credit. I'm going to break it down for you and tell you how to do it. Okay, so let's talk about how to get you guys some business credit. So the first step to getting business credit is to establish yourself as a business. This is a step that you cannot avoid, but you can really do this in uh, less than a week's time. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to get an LLC, or you can also use a DBA, um, which is uh, establishing yourself as a sole proprietor. Now, I personally recommend an LLC because limited liability corporation means just that. They cannot go after your personal assets um, through your business. Whereas just getting a regular DBA and running your business as a sole proprietor, that's a little different. So the fees for an LLC varies and ranges from state to state. So I'll put a link in the comments area where you can look up your state and see what the fees are and then they will actually file it for you. So step two is to get an EIN numbers. And EIN numbers are free. And so that's basically your business identification number. So you're going to do that through the IRS. So I'll put the link down in the comments below where you can actually get your EIN number. After you get your EIN number, then you're going to get your DONS number. And DONS, is, it stands for Dunn and Bradstreet or Dunn and Bradstreet. And Dun & Bradstreet is what they use to run your business credit. It's basically like the transunion for business credit. So business and personal credit is totally different. Your personal credit has no bearing on your business credit. You're able to establish business credit accounts without a personal guarantee, which means um, putting up your social security number. I would recommend that there are some... Um, business accounts where they would want you to put your social security number in, I wouldn't recommend those. Try to only use or start off with accounts that uh, uses your business credit only. So the next thing it, that you need to do after you get your DUNS number, and I'll put the link below for that, is to go to any bank and get a business checking account. Now, I recommend starting with the smaller banks because a smaller bank is going to work with you a lot better and offer you better rates and make it more affordable for you to um, have a business credit account. Um, so definitely find a smaller bank because they are willing to work with you while you are getting yourself established. So once you have all of those things done, then you are officially established as a business. Um, there are some other things that you'll need, articles of incorporation that you're going to need. All of those things can be found online. It's not anything that's hard to do. So those four things that I just gave you are the main things that you're going to need to establish yourself as a business. And then you can start opening credit accounts. So here's how you open a credit account as a business. So the next thing that you need is a net 30 account. This will be the first type of credit account that you can get as a business. So the easiest ones to get up front would be, I would recommend Uline, Granger, and Quill. Um, with Quill, you will have to pay $100. You will have to uh, uh, do a hundred dollars in products first before they allow you to open up the account. So if you don't have a hundred dollars in your shopping cart, they're not going to allow you to open up the, the net 30 account. These accounts, um, will have your merchandise. They ship it out really quickly, but it, your bill will be due in 30 days. And it's super important that you pay those on time. Okay. So that's the first tier of, of starting business credit. So be sure to tune in to my next video, part two of establishing yourself as a business and establishing business credit. Um, I am going to break this uh, video up into two sections so that I can make sure that I cover everything in detail. If you are needing help, if you need assistance in any way with anything that I've said, if you are struggling and you are trying to figure out what it is that you're going to do, definitely look in the comments and let's schedule a 
free strategy session. I am definitely open to helping you get started. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I offer an amazing coaching program that can help you to get yourself established and get started in whichever direction that you are wanting to go in into starting your journey as an entrepreneur this so. definitely can be done while you are still working in the school system because that's how i got started i started i knew that i was going to be uh resigning and so i created an exit plan and cr gave myself a last year and i followed through on my plan but i didn't do it alone i had a coach and i still have more than one coach at this time i have a coach for my education consulting and I have a coach for tutoring. So if your coach doesn't have a coach, then you shouldn't be using them to guide you. So I want to invite you to join me for a free strategy session. I will put the link in the comments. Let's get you on the road to being an entrepreneur. Even if you don't want to leave the school system, it's great money. So um, I hope to see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time for part two.